Morning everybody. Uber. No, we're not talking about cycling, we're talking about Uber. Who wants to hear about my Uber experience? Of course you do. By the way, if you like these videos, you can give me a thumbs up. If you don't like these videos, you can give me a thumbs down. The way I'm saying like this is because you've already seen this little speech. My son says I should do it at the end, but I like to do it at the beginning. And if you want to subscribe, press the subscribe button down below. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've never used Uber before. Been aware of it, knew what it was. I didn't use it, partly because I know somebody who's a taxi driver and he's not very keen on Uber, as you can imagine. Plus, I listened to James O'Brien on LBC for a bit too many times, for part of one of the crosses I have to bear. He's not very keen on Uber either. So I've not used Uber before, a bit of a point of principle, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Yesterday, I was going for a walk with my uh, good friend, ex-colleague, Kirsten, and we were meeting at Woolwich Arsenal. So, where I live in West Wickham, uh, by the way, this video is, is largely about South London. So if you live in California or Malaysia or Australia or somewhere like that, and you happen to have caught one of my videos and you think, what the hell is he talking about? I don't know where these places are. Google them, mate. Look, at them, look them up on the map. Anyway, so I live in West Wickham. So the way to get to Woolwich Arsenal by train, I go by train because uh, being over 60, I get a free railway pass. Thank you to uh, Ken Livingston, I think, Lord Mayor, who introduced that. So I have to get the train from West Wickham to Lewisham and then I have to change at Lewisham to get a train to Woolwich Arsenal. So I've gone to Lewisham, that's fine. Uh, managed to find the right platform for uh, Woolwich Arsenal, waited on the platform, train coming in, going to Woolwich Arsenal, got on the train. Excellent. But then I look up at the, uh, the scrolling destination uh, video thing that they have in the train and it says destination Slade Green. I think, why is it saying Slade Green? This train is supposed to be going to Woolwich Arsenal. So I, I asked a young lady sitting opposite me, excuse me, um, is this train going to Woolwich Arsenal? And she said, I don't know, I'm getting off at the next stop, which uh, didn't really answer my question. So I thought, right, only thing to do is get off at the next stop and start again. Can I say, by the way, before you all say, oh God, uh, old guy, early stages dementia, guts on the wrong train, blah, blah, blah. Never done this before. And I didn't get on the wrong train. I got on the right train, but it went to the wrong place. So just, just remember that. So I get off at Hither Green. Uh, Hither Green is, is in South London before, not been there before. And I see that the train going back in the other direction to Lewisham is not due for another half an hour. And then I'd have to wait for another train to go to Woolwich Arsenal, hopefully, hopefully get on the right train, or rather may hopefully get on the train that is actually going to Woolwich Arsenal as opposed to Slade Green. And that would take too long. So what to do? I know um, if I go out into the street, perhaps I can see a minicab firm, perhaps I can get a taxi and I can get to Woolwich Arsenal that way, meet my friend Kirsten, go for a nice walk. So I go out into the, um, what do you call it, station concourse, a um, couple of ladies collecting for the RNLI uh, in, in Hither Green, not a very busy place and not, uh, not an obvious destination for lifeboats. But anyway, there they were. Walked around a little bit, couldn't see a minicab place and it's not the sort of place where a black cab is going to be one, uh, driving down the road looking for a fare. So what to do? I know Uber. I've heard of Uber, know what it is. I uh, don't have the Uber app on my phone, so uh, I download the app on my phone very quickly. I register, you know, the usual thing, name, password, uh, credit card details. And then I say, okay, I want a cab. And it says, where do you want to go? And I say, Woolwich Arsenal. And message comes up, three minutes. No, four minutes. Cab due in four minutes. And I look at my phone and it tells me where the cab is. And it tells me the type of car and it tells me the number plate and tells me the name of my driver. So I wait there for four minutes and I, and I track it. I track it on my phone. So I'm looking at my phone. There's a, a little a little black picture of a car and it, it's driving along the street and it, it pauses, traffic lights, pedestrian crossing, whatever it is, turns left, turns right. Uh, and there I sit, I look up and I see a car coming towards me and it's, it's the right car, it's got the right number plate. Open the door, good morning, I'm your Uber driver, sir. Well, welcome, uh, we're going to Woolwich Arsenal. I thought, this is amazing. This is a game changer. I mean, has nobody... And, okay, I know other people have used Uber, I'm not, I'm not the first, but that is, that is amazing. Anyway, I get in the car, um, very nice driver, really nice, really nice uh, fellow, uh, comes from Sri Lanka. And on my app, uh, it, it tells me he comes from Delft. And I said, Delft? Sure, sure Delft is in Holland, because I, you know, I know my geography. And he says, after the English, uh, Sri Lanka was settled by the Dutch. Who knew? Well, I, I didn't know. Uh, and that's why there is a town in Sri Lanka called Delft, and, and that's where he was born. 
and he'd uh, uh, he'd come to come to Britain seven years ago. Um, uh, was working in uh, uh, actually perhaps I shouldn't tell you too much information about him. Um, but he'd come to England, and what he said to me was uh, a friend of him said to him, "Way to learn English is to listen to Nick Ferrari on LBC." Can you imagine that, Nick Ferrari? A, a, a right-wing commentator um, who actually I do I do listen to and I quite like Nick Ferrari I've got to be I've got to be honest obviously all of his opinions are nonsense but he, he's nice he's quite interesting to listen to he's, he's fun he's quite actually I find him quite witty actually he always takes the piss out of his callers but they all do that actually no they don't all do that no, Nick Ferrari does it he does it quite well but well I'm not saying he does it quite well he probably does it in a way that they don't quite realise maybe they do realise not quite sure anyway he said uh, this is this is my uh, my Uber driver said that his friend had said to him that, that Nick Ferrari has a very clear uh, voice, very good speaking voice, speaks good English. So listen to Nick Ferrari, and you'll be able to speak English. I mean, who knew? Who knew? There, there are millions of people around the world who are tuning into the transistor radios in the. In, I was going to say in the back of beyond, but it, it's not the back of beyond for them. It's the back. It's the back of beyond for us, but it's it's not the back of beyond for them. It's, it's where they live. So they're tuning in. Have they got radios? Okay, they've, they've got a radio, and is it a DAB radio? Can, can they get LBC? Any, anyway, okay, so you're in the back of Beyond, but you're not in the back of Beyond, and you switch on your radio, and you tune into Nick Ferrari, Mike Ring, Comptor, to LBC, and you learn English that way. And amazing. I mean, the, the, what it, the, the world is an amazing place, and what, what can you do with IT? Anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking on my uh, uh, phone, and I can follow the journey. I mean, I could look out the window, but it, it shows me on the phone where, where I'm going. Uh, we, we get to Woolwich Arsenal, um, and um, I said to him, I don't have to give you a tip, do I? Because it's all done through my credit card. You've got my credit card details. And he, he said, no, you don't have to give me a tip. He, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't sort of, what's the word? Um, I wouldn't say he's entirely enthusiastic when he said he didn't have to give me a tip. And I only found out later, when I, when I check my phone, that I can I can rate my driver, and then it says, "Do you want to give him a tip?" And I, I thought, "Well, no, I'll give him five stars, but come on, I'm not giving him a tip." It costs thirteen pounds. Now, uh, is that a lot of money? It's difficult to say. Hither Green to Woolwich Arsenal took about half an hour. Um, thirteen pounds. Well, I suppose the things I did, and he said to me, what, "You know, what did you think about the price?" And I said, "Well, to be honest, I didn't have any choice. Right, I had to get to Woolwich Arsenal." I couldn't get the train back to Hither Green because it would have taken too long. Wouldn't have met my friend Kirsty and gone for a nice walk. So I'm, I'm kind of, uh, what, what's, what's the word? I'm a captive. Am I captive? Captive audience, captive market. And I, I suppose in a way I am. Uh, I don't think a black cab would have been any cheaper. But the point is, I couldn't get a black cab. And I said to him, you know, all the taxi drivers are up in arms about you, you uh, uh, Uber people. How, how do you feel about that? And he made what I thought was a very valid point. Which is that in Hither Green, you're not going to get a black cab, are you? I mean, black cabs do, are not patrolling the back streets of Hither Green looking for fares. So the alternative is, is to get a, a, a mini cab. And, and of course, a, an Uber is essentially a mini cab. It's just done through an app. So I mean, I, I know there's nothing kind of magical about it. But there is something magical about the app. There's something magical about the, the information. There's something magical about the ease of it. Now, now you're going to say, well, <laughs> Oh, a minute! What is this guy going on about? Uber drivers are exploited. They don't have fair employment contracts. They uh, get a small amount of the income that they do. Well, I don't know. All I can say is, is my driver was happy with his experience. Uh, he he felt he 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 made a decent. He was happy with the amount of money that that he was earning. He was happy with the flexibility. If he didn't want to uh, carry on with with his Uber work for that day, he could he could switch off the app on it on his phone, and that was that. So for him as a driver, and uh, we all hear about how uh, IT, uh, not, not so much IT, the the internet is destroying businesses and of course it is in a way but what it's doing is it's creating different businesses new businesses so somebody who uh, has lost their job in in retail because retail has suffered because of the internet has an opportunity to get a job let's say as an uber driver okay you've, you've got to be able to drive you've got to have you've got to have a car i understand all of that but what i'm saying is that the market, and I don't want to get all sort of heavy in economics and, and so on and so forth, but what I'm saying is that the market changes 
and the market opens up different opportunities. Are they better opportunities? Sometimes. Are they worse opportunities? Sometimes. But they are opportunities. And they allow people the opportunity to work in, in different ways and earn money to, to raise their families. Now, I'm, I can talk in this, in this kind of uh, pompous, arrogant way about people getting jobs and, and raising money and to look after their families because I'm, I'm now retired, okay, after a uh, successful, I always, I always like saying this, I always like saying this, people say, what did you used to do? I, 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 I ran a company, <laughs> which I sort of did. And... <laughs> But, but I mean, they're not going to know, are they? And then the, I, I say, I employed thousands of people, which I sort of did. But I mean, they're, they're not going to know the truth, are they? So, I mean, who doesn't embellish their, their, their working lives? I'm sure uh, uh, old actors, when, when they retire and, and they're, in the, they're in the nursing home or, or whatever it's called, and, and somebody said, What do you used to do? Said, well, I used to be an actor. Were you any good? You got to a couple of Oscars. Oh. <laughs> so everybody embellishes their life a little bit. Uh, you, you, you can imagine, um, who, who can we think about? Uh, tennis, yeah, I used to be a big, big tennis fan. Um, Ken Rosewall. Ken Rosewall, great tennis player, Australian tennis player. Ah, yes, I used to be Ken Rosewall. Um, you, you, no, I didn't used to be Ken Rosewall. I, I am still Ken Rosewall. And somebody says, so, ah, yes, I remember you. You won Wimbledon, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did, a couple of times. They didn't, actually, did, didn't win Wimbledon. Um, won a lot of other things, but he didn't win Wimbledon. See, but, but, but he's in the nursery and he says, yeah, I won, I won Wimbledon. And I met, uh, it's not Princess Anne, is it? This, this, I'm kind of getting off the subject of Uber here, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So if you want to switch off, please please feel free. So Ken Rose also says, yeah, I, I met the Duke of Kent. <laughs> and Bill's like, you, you, you poor fucker. Um, but he won Wimbledon. Anyway, going back to Uber. Um, so I think, I think Uber's a game changer. I, I think, uh, uh, I know it's just an app. I, I know it's just a mini cab firm. I know it's just, but I got really excited about it. And and when when my, my driver dropped me off, very nice man, came from Sri Lanka, uh, and I met my friend Kirsty, and we were going out on my walk out. I was so excited. I, I'm so excited telling Kirsty about my Uber experience. And she thought, for fuck's sake, what are you going on about? It's a mini cab firm for Christ's sake. But, I enjoyed it. So, if you get stuck and you're in the middle of nowhere, hit the green, and you've got on the wrong train, or whether you've got the right train but it went to the wrong place, and you don't know what to do, and you've got a phone, of course you've got to have a phone, um, you've got to have a credit card as well, so you download the app, book an Uber, go where you want to go. Uh, life is a destination, and actually life isn't a destination. Destiny. Life is a journey. That's it. Life is life. Life is a journey. No, life isn't a journey. Um, with plenty of stops along the way. Yes, life is a journey with plenty of stops along the way. Uh, preferably not at Woolwich Arsenal, but it's a good place to start a walk. And the uh, actual walk that we did, we started at Woolwich Arsenal, which I got to via Uber, uh, train going to the wrong place, etc., etc., was really enjoyable. And maybe next time I'll tell you about that. So uh, thanks for watching. If you're still here. And see you next time.